That's a real time for togetherness for this Welsh side ahead of what is undoubtedly a massive challenge here. One of those heavy days at Headingley, the potential for thunderstorms and lightning action hanging in the air in equal measure on a sultry afternoon in West Yorkshire. Danny Baderas amongst those coming out here for this uh, lead side. He could be a key, key figure this afternoon, young and old alike. Looking forward to um, what we hope will be a classic cup tie here today. Jamie Peacock, great to see him back. This is the way they're lining up today. Leeds, well, Kevin Sinfield starts at standoff despite the recent return of Danny Maguire. Maguire is on the bench, as we will see in just a moment. In the pack, no Jamie Jones Buchanan or Ryan Bailey, both were in the 19. But as we've seen, Jamie Peacock, all heart and inspiration starts for the first time in eight months. Michael Witt, key player for the Crusaders, the man who wears the number six. And young Welsh back Elliot Keir gets a rare chance this afternoon in place of the cup tie Jordan Tansey. There's some real grunt in the pack as well. Hep Kale, ex Melbourne, has been proving his pedigree since his arrival at the Welsh club in March. Both coaches will be hoping there are some game changers and game breakers on the bench. Danny Maguire and Paul McShane of Leeds. Jared Sabat for Crusaders may fit that bill. And a very, very experienced referee in Steve Ganson, the man who officiates this afternoon. Good to see him back as well. OK. Well, it's a decent Ready, crowd. We're on. looking forward to a decent game. OK, straight into it's it. It's a right. familiar path. And off we go again, along the road to Wembley. And every chance that one of these two might go the distance. Leeds have been there, Crusaders have never been beyond the fifth round. That's the next. And they know they find a huge hurdle in their way if they're going to get past the fourth round this time out. But there's hope, John Keir. There certainly is, and it's that time of year again, isn't it, Dave? It's the time we get excited. Challenge Cup time. What's the story going to be about in 2011? Is it going to be the Welsh side Crusaders progressing, or will it be the Rhinos having a great tilt once again in the final? Now, Jamie Peacock come firing out there to make sure that Hep Kale's movement forward was kept to a minimum. We're going to see plenty of him as the day goes on. He might not be completely match fit yet, Jamie Peacock, but... When has that ever stopped him from giving 158%? It's going to be a kick on the sixth. A crafty little kick as well from uh, Michael Witt. Taken easily enough by Lee Smith. He's another who's returning from injury. He's uh, back from a hamstring injury. And although he wears the number two, there is an argument to say that a couple of the first choice leads three quarters are not on the pitch today. Callum Watkins and Ben Jones Bishops, two youngsters with um, incredible futures ahead of them, both missing, both because of fairly serious injuries. It's a very accomplished three quarter line, though, Dave, and I think. Both teams really feeling their way into this game and uh, looking just to get a good touch oh. of the ball, a positive hey. contribution and a good oh. kick at the end of the set. Well, they made re reasonable distance here, Butter with a flat pass, but um, Crusaders' hey. defensive line is up there. Hey. This is tackle six, Baderas. Webb, the full back up in the line, and he's got to force the issue as well. It's a forward pass. Well, Ryan Hall's claiming the try. Well, there's been lots of controversy uh, in recent okay, weeks in Super What's League that, about the uh, the flat pass or the Who? forward pass, and uh, Brent Webb's in one of the uh, Where do you get that from? the main one of my culprits, ball. and uh, I think you'll shot. see there nice. his momentum was stopped, and it, it's in the ha it's in the yeah, hands really that you look. Anything, the hands went forward, and for me, Steve Ganson got it dead right. right well, I think the touch touch called that, and I think Jamie Peacock actually asked him, "Was that a forward pass?" And I think we might have heard a cheeky, I'm not sure, <laughs> from the referee. But it was a touch judge on this um, near side. Well, he, he's in a great uh, position to do that, isn't he? And uh, Brent Webb, he's, uh, he's taken a hit there when he, he made that pass. He plays at the line, does Brent Webb. He doesn't play away from the line in the comfort zone. He plays where you may, get, may well get hurt. And uh, right. I think after he passed the ball, he, he copped a wallop. Well, this will be a big, big moment from Leeds' point of view because if they lose Webb here, and there's a tattle from Gareth Thomas, I think it was, who gave him the big hard shoulder. Yeah, that was great play from Webb. He attracted two players there, and uh, 
It was quite within his rights there, Gareth Thomas is going to play at the line, you must take That's him out. Collision. But uh, yeah, he has fallen awkwardly. Like him, and it's a, uh, it's a big concern for the Rhinos so early in the game. The first set in possession and uh, Brent Webb off. Hey! Where's your bottle of water, have you forgotten? Well, Danny Maguire is the man it? on the bench, of course. The only back on the bench, Luke Burgess, Ian Kirk and Paul McShane are okay. all forwards, so he's the man who's had to come on. And, um, well, we would have seen him at some point in the afternoon, obviously, but um, I don't think Brian McDermott would have been expecting to put him on this early in the game. And I certainly don't think he'll be expected to put him on in the centre with Keith Senior going out onto the wing Please. and Lee Smith, I believe, who's taking the uh, the mantle of the fullback role. And a reminder that uh, Danny Maguire is returning from injury as well. So there is, um, although he's had about three or four games, hasn't he? But still that slight shady doubt of um, match fitness. There's Cahill, Hep Cahill, who played against Leeds in the um, 2010 Stop. World Please. Club Challenge Hold. for Melbourne. Up from dummy half is Lloyd White. And taken on here by Reese Hanbury. Another of the recent arrivals. Five. Six tackle coming up. Crusaders ten yards inside Leeds territory. So Clear. Witt will put the high ball up. A little tester here. And Lee Smith, just Five. a little bit of a juggle, but takes it well enough. <laughs> well, that's welcome to playing full back, Lee, isn't it? And uh, it was a good kick there. And Keith Shane, it, it bought Five. him a bit of time. But uh, Lee Smith, after the little bobble, Cleaned it up, and it, now it's the Rhinos uh, just getting out of their red zone. Gary Thomas! Badiris up a dummy half. Hold. Looking to this um, blind side, Smith again involved, and Ryan Hall now Ball. coming on. Move. Crusaders looking to keep Hold. Leeds inside this Stop. half if they can. Sinfield, little ball back, Luluai. Up and down, good offload, Badiris to Burrow. Now they have the numbers here, Sinfield. Well, had he gone outside, there were three waiting. He's got it belatedly away. Not much on for Clarkson, but Burrow just making themselves available. And Burrow with a fall, and he's lost it. That was a good tackle, that, from uh, Richard Moore. There was uh, Rob Burrow carrying the ball Move. in two hands, and he really was a very forceful contact, and that's really a forced header there to, for, the, uh, for the Crusaders. Whoa. Tremendous work there from Richie Moore. You see Burrow's ball in two hands. Moore got the shoulder in, ball came loose. Here's Renahara. Good position here. White. Wit. Into the line comes a fullback, Shivkovsky, but there are plenty of Leeds numbers across there. But the potential remains here for the Welsh side. Wit again. Richard Moore. A little bit of a looped pass, but they keep it alive. It's with Vince Mellers. Kiwi looking for the step on the inside, and eventually they oh, managed to wrap him up, but um, Crusaders are in an excellent position here, and they still have tackles in the bag. Amber's going to try and take them on. Well, tackle six move. is the next. And this is a big play, Dave. The last tackle play when you're in such an attacking position. Wits with a kick to the corner. Reardon's on the chase. He has taken it. It's been knocked down. And I think Hep Cahill might have touched this down. Okay. It's Let's going to be a video that, referee. Uh, no, in the yeah, no doubt about that, Dave. Again, we said the end of the set. Very, very important indeed. And that was a, a good kick. And it was well contested at the very, at the very end. I'm certain they'll be looking, first of all, at the uh, onside-offside decision. But for me, there'll be no problem with that, because it's a very lateral kick. You see there, well, well onside there. That's a lovely timing of the chase. And now we come through. They're both up there. They're both looking at the ball. And it's just a matter now. Does the ball go forward? Hall's got the ball. He's lost it. And for me, providing... Uh, the ball is grounded by Cahill. It's going to be a try. Well, that's we've a... been through every potential problem, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. No, I think that's tremendous work there. Great contest from Stuart Reardon. The ball came free. And down it is by Cahill. Well, Hep Cahill only arrived in Wales on March but he's just scored a huge try 
in the Challenge Cup a couple of months later to put his side into the lead. There's an awful long time to go here. Of course there is, but that'll give them plenty of encouragement. It's a great start, though, isn't it, for the, uh, for the Crusaders? And for me, that you can take all that, you know, back to Richie Moore, forcing the arrow on Rob Burrow. That gave them the field position, they maintained that field position, and then came up with a great last tackle play. So Clinton Shivkovsky, he's um, a very good goal kicker, as uh, Brian Noble was pointing out, just ahead of the game. Yeah, I've got you. He's of Polish descent, hence the name, not Clinton, Shivkovsky. But it's uh, the more difficult angle from a right-footed kicker because he's on this um, right-hand side, so he'll have to curl it in across the face of the sticks here. Little wave of the arm to show the ball where he wants it to go. And he struck it well and hard enough. Has he got the uh, spin just wide? Yeah, it'd be a little disappointed, Chief Scott, here, there. Uh, he's very, very good with those conversions, but this is an excellent kick there from Michael Witt, renowned for his kicking game. But I like the contest here, it's a 50-50 job. Reardon forces the error, and Cale's just got the wherewithal to snatch the ball and plunk it over the whitewash. Great start for the Welsh team. So 4-0 with seven minutes play. And they'll need to take every opportunity they're given here today. This Crusaders side, they have um, a reputation of being slow starters. They've got a penalty here. Bring him down. Jamie Peacock's timing of the tackle is not quite as it should be. Well, that's the, uh, it's a fairly easy way to get out of your own, uh, your own red zone with uh, a penalty, and it's a piggyback upfield, courtesy of Jamie Peacock's foul play, so uh, I'm certain that the Crusaders will be welcome that. Tanya Arnold's got news on the touchline, Tanya. Yeah, Brent Webb's got a bad dead oh, leg, they're saying, but as he uh, hobbled right. past here with the help of uh, two oh. guys, you could see the swelling coming up on his uh, right thigh, so though they say they're going to work on him, it did look pretty serious. Whoa. Also, uh, Danny Baderas has been hey. wrapped up. He had a nasty cut oh. over his eye. Baderas still out there, of course. Knock on, mistake. Yeah, that's a let-off, isn't it, there? Lloyd White there, they've got great field position. And uh, he's looking what to do with the ball before he... Uh, he secures control of the ball. Soft header there from White. Second roll, Luis. And it uh, really okay. has like leads off the hook. Okay. So Burrow with a feed. Oh. Queuing up to take this here. One. But Delaney. Move. Hold. Made his debut four leads against Peter Crusaders last Delaney. year, if memory serves, on a wintry Move. night in Wrexham. Move. Hold. And this is Badiris. Peacock. Up to lead the charge. Move. So just a plotting of a path downfield here by Leeds. Burrow with the ball back on the inside. Lula White's lost it. Play on. Collected instead by Lloyd White. Zero. And uh, these are encouraging moments for the Crusaders. Robbie Paul's watching with his beady eye down by the touchlines. What have you made of it, Robbie? Well, it's going to be a massive blow One. for the Rhinos losing Brent Webb. He's a, he's a big strike weapon for them when they come into the good ball. So, but the, the, the main thing for Rhinos right now, they've got to get field position and get down into the opposition's half and hold the ball and respect the ball. Here's the Welsh youngster White who uh, turns it out to Hanbury. Third! Move! A cry for a forward pass, but um, not given on that occasion. Here's Peter Lupton, the Cumbrian. Although he will be Welsh by the end of the year, Peter Lupton. He's um, going to qualify on residency round grounds. Witt, here's Cahill. Well away by him, Shivkovsky. Across the line to try and make the numbers, and one-handed holds it up and does very well. It's Mallers who cuts back on the inside. He looks to push Lee Smith away. Mallers by himself is over. Has he touched it down? No, he hasn't. Well, that's great skill, isn't it? Shivkovsky's skill there with his, uh, his grip on the ball and his offload was absolutely first okay. class. And they still have the position here. Witt, little kick to the corner. Not as deep this time. Taken by Reardon. Keeps it alive. Here's Thomas. And that was a six tackle, so it'd be the handover. Yeah, well, it's, a, it's an obvious play, isn't it, from uh, Yestin Harris and the Crusaders. They really are picking out Hall, trying to land the ball on him, and Reardon really is making it a contest. 
a sad standing good voice at the moment. The drums are banging, the beat is playing. Yeah, but it just held up there, Vince Mellors, and uh, a good decision there from referee Steve Gans. Here's Baderas. Lulai wanted it, went deeper behind him. Heads put down. Baderas stands and waits, has a good look at what's behind, what his options are. Sinfield's going to kick. Just looking for distance, putting it downfield, looking for the chase to get after this. Make Crusaders do the work from inside their own 20 here. And it's a good kick, wasn't it, from uh, Kevin Sinfield. Turning the ball over in a good position for Leeds. And he actually changed the kick, he looked up and he saw Shipskowski's positioning and he altered the kick and uh, it really did make Shipskowski track across the field to retrieve the ball. Here comes Richard Moore. Good driving effort by him, that's terrific, good leg strength. Taking Leeds back an extra five yards. The dummy half, it's Lloyd White. And wider still to Mellis. Look at the gaps here. A chance for young Elliot Keir. It's a wonderful kick over the top. There are only red shirts chasing this. And Reese Hanbury will touch down. It's a second Crusaders try. What kind of an upset are we looking at here? Well, we certainly could be looking at one, but uh, we call Brent Webb as a forward pass. And from the naked eye, there was a very iffy pass uh, in the build-up to this try. Really liked Elliot Keir's skill uh, down the left-hand side, but just watch the pass. And it's that pass from uh, Hanbury to the centre, Mellors. Lovely piece of skill there. Chipping the ball back inside. Hanbury tracked really well and fielded the ball. And I think we'll see this better from uh, the side angle. Okay, That's... Really good pass there, it's Mellors, Kimo pulls coming seniors up. in, Kimo and then coming there's up. a lovely kick there from uh, Kia. Well, Danny Maguire in back play there, suddenly began limping, pulled up, and he's going off. So it's another huge blow for Leeds, having already lost Brent Webb. Now Danny Maguire is limping away. Well. Only just back from injury, of course, and that's looking fairly serious. It is, yes, and uh, that's Webb and Maguire. Time off. Already uh, in the, the dressing room. Well, Leeds are at sixes and sevens here. Clinton Shivkovsky with a much easier kick than he had for his uh, first attempt. Over it goes. Well, this is quite a turn up here. Reese Hambry's try. Yeah. And there's um, that looks a okay to me. Looking at that, that looks A-OK, -okay. lovely phase pass, and this is tremendous skill, isn't it, from Elliot Keir. Bounced up very nicely for the track in Reese Hanbury, and he really is elated at this point to plunk the ball down and now give them a 10-point lead. Well, 10-0, Crusaders leading Whoa. here at Headingley. Who'd have thought Move. this? And leads in the Whoa. walls, Tanya. Yeah, Danny Maguire's got a muscle strain in his quad, and the word is it is not looking Save. good. Move. Hold. Well, the Leeds are going to have to provide something here, produce something here, a real Save. test of their Move. temperaments and characters. Webb Hold. and Maguire, they're two really key strike players. Well, they're key strike players, but the other thing as well, David, there's, uh, there's 55 Move. minutes plus left, and they've only got 15 players, and normally a 17-man game. 15 players with Brent Webb, you can see, strapped up in the in the changing rooms. Well, the kick is awkward, seniors collected. Senior by name, senior by nature, of course, his 16th One. season in Move. Super League. Oh. A man of his experience is going to be absolutely vital here from Leeds' point of view in what remains in this game. So, move! Hold! McShane is on. He's another of the, uh, the very good Surrender. young English players that are coming Surrender. through at the moment. Three. Now you see him, the oh. dummy half. Listed Harris, a former Leeds favourite, enjoying Four. every moment in his Move. current Crusaders guys. Burrow, Sinfield, these general qualities required to their extremes today. That's a good kick. It is a good kick. What Kevin Sinfield said is, let's actually play a bit of football down in Whoa. the in the Crusaders Move. 20 because oh, at this moment oh, in time the Crusaders have dominated uh, field position and possession. Look at that, 67% possession Move. for the Crusaders and 65% territory so far. And that's the reason why the scoreboard's reflected on 10-0. 
and Leeds oh. have uh, got the battle scars as well. You are just switching on Brent Webb and Danny Maguire, who came oh. off the bench, have both Move. gone off with injuries that look set to keep them out, certainly for the rest of this game. Five. Six saddle coming up, so Go. Crusaders looking for a kick here from Michael Witt. Now, has that gone too far? No, it's not. For a Hold on. millisecond, it looked as though it was going out on the fall, but taken easily by Ryan Hall. Surrender! Stand! One! Go. Here's Burrow. Smith onto Senior. Two! Move! Go! Just looking at the reshuffle in this uh, Leeds line. No. Carl Ablett Move. has come out to the three quarters, hasn't he? He's on the, uh, the left centre's position at the moment. Lee Smith at full back. At the moment, the way things stand. Oh, yeah, there's the senior move. standing on the wing. At, uh, that's Delaney there. And he's, uh, well, he's come down against Lee Smith, I believe. Saying something out of turn to the referee. Well, I, I think he actually gave it that Lee Smith was holding one of the Crusaders down, trying to milk a penalty. <laughs> you see here, there's a collision. Smith's not happy about seeing left hand. There, hold of O'Hara, the prop forward, trying to milk the penalty, and Steve Gams is just a little too smart for that. So basically, you're saying, well done, referee? Yes. Hold! In not so many hold. words. Go. Crusaders setting up camp again inside the Leeds half. The sun's coming out here at Headingley. One! Not for Leeds, the clouds Move. are gathering. Hold! But there will be a response. Go. You can bet your bottom dollar. Here comes Richard Moore. Two. Dedicated this season, by Move. the way, Richard Moore, to his young Hold lad, Harrison, who's uh, battling against leukaemia. Well, uh, if you're watching on, Third. Harrison, he can be proud of your Move. dad. He set up the first try and he's Go. leading by inspiration here. Hambry away to Witt. Witt across to Shivkovsky. Leads his three-quarter line. Not entirely sure where oh. it should be defending now. They Move. won't have trained for this. Thomas back to Witt. Henry. Poor pass from Michael Witt. Yeah, they'll be disappointed, the Crusaders there, because they were Three, building four. pressure through completing sets, but there's a... It was just stood a little too wide. You see the pass there, just dipping at the last moment. And uh, that on. caused the knock-on. So it's a bit of a relief for the uh, Rhinos at the minute. But they just need to get to the, the Crusaders' end of the field and get the ball. I've got with me uh, Jamie Murphy of the uh, 18th band from Crusaders. You can't believe how good well this has started for you, I guess, can you? Oh, it started brilliant. We, the crowd are getting on Leeds' is back at the moment, and we're really starting to turn the screw a bit. We just need to keep being consistent, just punch out our sets, and uh, just hopefully finish down there into the field and maybe get some points. And maybe not be swung by the fact they've got so many injuries. Oh, uh, sorry, or them. Them. Uh, no, not really. Whatever Leeds put out is going to be a quality side, so um, obviously they got a massive reputation in Super League. we just got to keep working hard for each other and just hopefully get some points and, like I said, finished on their end of the field. Thank you very much. Five. Cheers. Cheers. Move. Six tackle coming up. Just to remind you that Leeds were without Ryan Bailey and Jamie Jones Buchanan before the game began in the 19, not in the 17-man squad. Hold on. Maguire and Webb having both gone off injured since kickoff. It's going to require a big, big effort from Hold. your Peacocks and your Lulwais up, up the front because uh, they're going to have lots of game time. Stand That's a pretty good tackle as well, restricting the yardage from the Crusaders. Here's Thomas. Surrender. Welsh Rugby Stand League international two. these days as well as a former Welsh Rugby Union international. Four. Frank Winterstein. Jared Samets on the field as well here. Oh, Richard Moore, that's a, he's having a good game. Samet swinging it away. Hambry with a kick over the top. It's a good kick. Picked up by Smith. It's a solid chase from the Crusaders. And the Samet was the man who was targeted, but he did manage to tackle him. They're playing the percentages really well, aren't they, the Crusaders? Looking after the ball, finishing the sets well, building field position. But that's a big oh, lineup for Leeds, and uh, he's given an offside decision to Steve oh, Ganson. 
and uh, that will allow Leeds actually to start a set in either midfield or in the Crusaders' half, which has been a, a bit of a rarity in this first quarter of the game. Mike Robbie's got news, Robbie. Well, just the fact that, you know, this first 20 minutes of this game has been all about the Crusaders. They've really turned up and taken it to the Leeds Rhinos forward pack. But I just get the feeling that the screw is starting to turn because the Crusaders have come up with a couple of, uh, couple of uh, errors but also been giving away penalties as well. So keep your eye on the Rhinos right now. And I, get, I called you Robbie Paul, didn't I? You're Robbie Hunter Paul these days. I didn't want to, I didn't want to correct you on uh, camera. Uh, get, send my apologies to Mrs. Hunter Paul. No worries. Here's McShane. Leeds probing here. Sinfield. Cahill grabs hold and puts him down, but look how close Leeds are getting here. Ten yards out, it's possibly the best attacking position they've had for a long, long time. Peacock, Kirk, has to go down with possession in hand. McShane, little dash from Dummy Huff again, and Baderas. But they're a yard away, and here comes tackle six. Burrow, Dummies, kicks, Shivkovsky, covers, watches. And then takes it out of play for the dropout underneath the sticks. That's a clever piece of play there from Rob Burrow. It's normally a left-footed kicker, but look to it, great skill. He changed that for a, a little right-footed toe poke through. And Shivkovsky has got no option but just to make the ball safe. But it's actually building a bit of pressure with a repeat set for the Leeds on, Rhinos. Man. So uh, good play by the scrum half, Burrow. Yes, yeah, so he's making sure that they get uh, plenty of oxygen in the, in the lungs. And Steve Gans just starts the clock once again. Smith underneath it, safe enough with the catch. Kirk taking it in with plenty of muscle Whoa. and endeavour, but... Move! Hold! Easy hold. pickings for the Crusaders' defence on that occasion. Now comes Peacock. The captain's not required. Pitts looks to his left and dummies past Thomas. Witt just got his ankles tapped. Yeah. How big was that tackle? Yeah. He a, was scoring. It's a vital tackle. And it might that one. Steal Leeds have their response. Well, we've been saying, Dave, that it's the big names, your peacocks, your lulis, who've got to put the hand up. But it's two of the youngsters here, Paul McShane, who scored, and Jay Pitts, who made the initial break, who've really got the Rhinos back into this game. A lovely little show and go. Gareth Thomas drifts off him, and Michael Witt just prevents Jay Pitts from scoring with a great right-handed ankle tap. But Pitts remained composed, played the ball quickly, and what a lovely little piece of play there from Paul McShane. Again the dummy, again Thomas drifted outside, and over he goes for a great four points. That's got the Rhinos right back in it through these youngsters. He's having a great season, isn't he, Paul McShane? He came through the academy. They've, they've got so many players in this side that have come through the academy here at Leeds. You go back to the, uh, the emergence of... The likes of Rob Burrow and um, Danny Maguire and Kevin Sinfield, and here comes the latest crop. Paul there's McShane a Shane leading them. There's a good uh, hooker in the reserves as well called Hood for the uh, Rhinos, and uh, keep your eye out for him in the future. There's a lot of good hookers around at the moment. There's a couple of Cass out there, Milner and uh, Clark, and you've got a couple of good young hookers at uh, Wakefield. Sinfield's kick is magnificent. 6-10. Well, that's a great response, isn't it, from adversity through injuries, adversity through the other team dominating, but that's great effort there from McShane. First of all, the dummy, then the determination to crash over and ground the ball. That's brought him back in the game, Dave. Just over midway through this first half, a little bit of balance restored. But the impact as well of um, Leeds not only losing their two strike players in Webb and Maguire is also the fact that they're down on numbers in terms of interchanges. In this modern game, they love to bring, the coaches love to bring the big players on and off all the time to give them the breathers, to make sure everybody's as fresh as possible. Well, of course, they've got two fewer players to deal with now, Leeds. One. They certainly have, but it's the big guys who can keep, keep being rotated because... Burgess Kirk, I'm certain, will be rotated with Peacock and Lulai and Clacks and just to keep the momentum Move. going for the Rhinos. Hold. Go. Here's Peacock. 
Good offload from Peacock. Smith knew it was coming and made sure he got there, but look how many red shirts are back. Smith has support though. Here's Clarkson. Clarkson on the angle. Sinfield with a handoff. Summer wouldn't let go. You're going nowhere. So Sinfield has to get up and play it. McShane's off again. But Dearest urging himself towards that line and drops it. He had it reefed. Offside. It's a penalty for Leeds. Offside there, I believe, you have the both feet behind the line, but that's great work from Samet, chasing back, no for his offensive play, that's a great defensive effort, but the Rhinos really building a bit of pressure here. Six tackles to come as well, Kirk, the first to hammer at this Crusaders door, plenty more will come knocking, and straight away it opens, Burrows pass, J Pitt scores, and in the blink of the eye, Leeds are asking, what crisis? It's yeah. all square again. Well done, Jay Pitts. He's put his hand up, he's had a big influence on this game in the past three or four minutes. First of all, with the break from the change try, and secondly, actually crashing over for a try himself. I like Burrow's play, Rob Burrow, his, his part in this uh, play as well. Look how he takes the ball to the line. It just interests Witt, Witt just turns inside and yeah, Pitt hits the gap on the outside. Beautiful, watch him turn Pitt towards him and as soon as he turns, releases the ball, Jay Pitts is in the gap outside and over he goes to equalise the scores. Lovely skill from Burrows, great timing of the run and line of run from Jay Pitts. Here's another of... Um the Leeds lad in the team, although he's an ex wakey lad, isn't he, uh, Jay Pitts? He is, yes. You uh, had a hand up in his development. Well, he's, he's, he's always been renowned as a very good player, played in the England Academy side, and uh, he's got a big future ahead of him as the kid. Kevin Sinfield to give Leeds the lead. He'll take his time. The kick is a good one, is it? Yes, it is. And out of the eye of the storm, Leeds have found the sunshine again. Pitts try, Sinfield's goal, and they have the lead. And Rob Burrow, superb. That's great scrum half play, right at the line, pulling defenders out of position and having the weight of pass to put a support player through the gap. Great scrum half play and a great line hit by that guy, Jay Pitts. So how do Crusaders respond from here? Having conceded two okay. tries in three minutes. Their quick fire opening suddenly has given them no advantage whatsoever. They find themselves two points down. One, move, hold, hold, go. Here's McShane, Peacock again. Look how defenders are drawn. That's the value Child. of... Uh, Jamie Move. Peacock, isn't it? Three hold, defenders drawn towards hold, him straight away. Hold. And it was his offload earlier as well. Side! Move! Hold! Go. Here's McShane, down the blind side with a kick. Shivkovsky. Safe. Up. He's to take on Hall on the outside, but the winger, Whoa. the big wing man, Move. dragging him down. Well, Callum Watkins with me, yet another le injured Leeds player who's been uh, out for a little while. It's quite some fight back from your side. Yeah, uh, a bit of a sloppy start with uh, a bit of ball control and, you know, they punished us for it, so credit to Crusaders, but, you know, credit to us as well to show that attitude to put back, so... How, how difficult, though, to play now that you've uh, lost two players in Brentwood and Danny Maguire? It's going to quite some reshuffle. Yeah, it's definitely. A um, co couple of players might play longer minutes than uh, usual, so I think we've got the players that... Um, could show that cinema and um, attitude to play well. And how long are you going to be out? Up to uh, 12 weeks. Um, I had an up on my me, me ligament and uh, on my wrist, so uh, it's quite a long time to heal, so hopefully I'll be back for high end and uh, try and claim a place in the team. Thanks very much indeed, Callum. No worries. He's a great kid, Callum Watkins. What a great smile, hasn't he? Got a good sidestep as well. Good return here by Senior. Smith. Ablett, who was a star last year in a um, Leeds route to the Challenge Cup final. And a few blockbusting performances. Here's McShane again, looking to get things moving once more. Delaney. McShane, the speed is coming now from acting half. A little bit more zip from the rock. 
He's re really had a big impact, hasn't he, Paul McShane there? And he went off a quick play, the ball to eat the yards up. And here's the end from uh, Rob Burrow. Put under a little bit of pressure, but managed to get the kick away. Shivkowski catches oh. safely. Keir wants it and gets it and sees the gap and he's through. And Shivkowski's with him as well. Keir now with a step back to Shivkowski. Has he got the pace? I think he has. Ryan Hall's after him though. Great tackle by the winger. Needs to play it quickly if they're going to prosper here. They do. It's Keir. He's down. He's lost it. Great defence. Unbelievable. That is sensational defence in the scramble mode from the Leeds Rhinos. And again, it's Shea Now, if you look here, Keith Seen hasn't pushed up on the chase. That's the gap Keir goes through. Keith Seen, he misses the pass. Great composure from the wingman there. Pops Hold the on. ball inside. Hold but on. just look at Carl Hall tearing across from the other side of the field. That's a great scramble tackle. Then what about this? We looked all over the try score. Elliot Keir and Jay Pitts once again okay. reefs the ball one on one. That's magnificent defence. We talk about offensive attacking play, Lock but that's in. great defence's play. And what okay. an impact Jay Pitts is having oh. on this game. It's a cracker. One, move, go. A reminder that uh, it's no. not all on BBC One today. Move. If you want to carry on with this, and you will, second half on BBC Two, five past four. Third. If you were thinking about it before, move. you're not thinking about it now, are you? You know this is an absolute classic cup tie here today. It's about 15 Four. minutes away, that switch move. of channels, by the way. Go. There are people watching this recorded tonight thinking, oh, I didn't know it was changing channels. And they're going to miss the second half. Hard lock, you're going to miss a classic. Good offload again, Leeds are doing well. Burrow, dancing steps by him, and off he goes! Foot down and fires it in! This is a champion side providing a real champion response when the chips were down. Well, you saw there, it was like a sports car going into turbo charge. Absolutely first class from the scrum half, Rob Burrow. Lovely offload, but just watch here how he stands Michael Witt up. It just stands him up, then he says, do you want to race? Well, you've lost it. And that's absolutely magnificent pace from Rob Burrow. Great work from Baderas. Out he goes from dummy half. A little inside ball from Simphy, lovely offload, great composure from Kirk, another lovely offload, then look at this, change of pace, down it goes, full throttle, turbo charge, good night over the line, what a great try. How much does this challenge cut me to Leeds? How much now does it mean to the Crusaders? Where do they respond from here? Well, they've had virtually no ball <laughs> for the last five, seven minutes or whatever. It's, Rhinos have dominated the Rhinos. recent possession, and my word, have they made it tell. I think it's blew up. I felt something warm on my back. Steve Ganson just complaining about the technology, I think, the referee. Kevin Sinfield. The south stand behind him. You know, the most passionate and fanatical of Leeds fans tend to stand. And they will be as one with their um, standoff and goal kicker here. <laughs> Trying to blow it over. And over he goes. Wonderful kick by Kevin Sinfield. 100% for him. 18-10. Leeds are leading. Wasn't it a great try? This I just love that footwork. Then I love it when he just puts the gap down. You can see he's happy to have a foot race with anybody on that field is Rob Burrow because he's very, very confident that he'd win the majority and he certainly won that foot race against Michael Witt. But a very good try. Well, don't forget earlier in the game, reminder of the score, 18-10, Leeds are leading here. But earlier in the game when Crusaders were leading by 10 points to nil, Crusaders' possession was was something like the 67, 65% in their favour. Look how it's switched now. Leeds suddenly dominating possession, 54 to 46. Yeah. And they've narrowed the gap significantly on territory as well. They have. But there's a bit of a... Uh, a brave take from Lee Smith there. And he, uh, 
He fielded the ball and Rob Beno is uh, asking Steve Gantz if there's any illegal play there and uh, he certainly caught him with the Mark upper Bryant, arm. Mark Bryant, wasn't it? Mark! Oi! Yep. Well, he's uh, pulling Mark Bryant over for Mark, a word with the captain it. as well as Bryant. Because he's going down. There's an allegation of contact with the elbow. The incident's going to go on report from the touch judge. Be very, very careful. It's going to be a penalty to leave. OK, mate, it's a penalty, mate. Well, he's gone on report, so the uh, disciplinary panel at uh, okay. the RFL will have a look at that this coming week to see if it um, Dangerous contact. does require any further action in terms of suspensions or whatever. Well, I, th I think that's uh, very well handled once again by the referee. Consulted with this touch judge. Came to the conclusion it was a penalty, which I agree with. Careful, and also mate. the fact it's gone on report okay. uh, for the RFL to look at. So, good piece of referee in a game from Mr Ganson. One. Six minutes left Nine. to play in this first Hold. half. It's been a, a story of changing fortunes. So, move! Here's Burrow. Sinfield. Oh, they're having to come and search back on this uh, near side. Clarkson's offload and Pitts with a dash. The Deera stands and waits. Oh, that's a poor pass by down, him. Play on four. But it hits back here. The lead arm and went backwards. The referee Hold. says so. It's not a knock on. Oh, that's a good offload. Badiras is standing and waiting. Badiras pops it over the top. Oh, it's bounced oh. behind Senior. Oh. Well, that's half a chance gone to begin there, isn't it? Really is. That could have gone to hand. I think Casey is over in the uh, in the sideline. Lovely offload again from Danny Badiris tracking on the inside as a good hooker should. A speculator out the back door, and that's why rugby ball shaped like that. It just bounced out of the path okay. of Keith Senior. Who's here? Okay, half a chance, loose, but half on, a chance got a begging. Okay, mate. Out. Crusaders needing to score next, maybe. I think there just needs a bit of normality to the game Move. at the minute because it started out all Crusaders and then Leeds have really fought the way back in Two. and played some great Move. rugby. But we haven't Hold. seen really a, an arm wrestle set for set scenario yet. It's Cahill. Really good, strong, Move. durable player. At K Hold. Cahill. Samet out from Dunning Half and um, Ben Flower, another of the younger Four. Welsh players Move. who are making their oh, way through Rugby League here. Cardiff born Ben Flower. Hanbury. Oh, and it's uh, again a half opportunity here, maybe. No way to go for Elliot Keir. It's a good story, by the way, Elliot Keir. Well, that's, uh, well, that's a collector's item. Richard Moore with a kick. Hep Cahill's taken it. The ball's kept Play alive. On. Play on! And Play Leeds on. have it through Ryan Hall. What, what, what exactly happened there? I think uh, we're watching Whoa. Monty Pythons then, weren't Move. we? Every a prop forward kicking, a back rower going up and claiming the ball, and then uh, who wants it? Well, Leeds wants it in the end, Move. and uh, it was Ryan Go. Hall. It's a bit surreal, that passage of play. Third. Move! Hall. Here's McShane, a dummy half. Delaney's lost it in the tackle from Hanbury. And again, there are two players out there in Crusader shirts, Hanbury and uh, the number seven, Jared Sabbath. You wouldn't normally put in the top tackling category, but they've both come up with big tackles here today. Please. They really have. Sabbath was a, a try saver okay. from a Leeds break, and that was a, an error force, if we'd like okay, to use that, scrum. from uh, Reese okay. Hanbury. Got the shoulder yeah, in Reece. at the ball Stand carrying arm, oh. forced the error, and consequently they've got the possession. Hanbury just One. threatening to make the break. Move! Samet up in support, but it's uh, taken off by Elliot Keir. He's been on loan at um, one of the championship Move. clubs, Hunslet, for Go most on, of the season. Called back today because um, of problems, personnel problems, but my word, he's um, having an influence so far today as that just rolls out of play. And just see so he took that ball dead. And that's a good tackle from Rob Burrow, you isn't the it? Man took the ball Defending the wide there in the. Uh, Left-hand yeah, centre channel. Came out of ground, uh, right. out of Thomas. Leads out and feed. Okay. Well, I, I thought that may well have been a knock-on, to tell you the truth. 
Well, what he's decided was that he kicked the ball. He'd actually kicked the ball before it hit the ground, so therefore it's rolled out of play. So that's why it's a scrum head and feet. Okay. All right. Martin, what are you saying, Dave? I'll accept your explanation, oh, Dave. Don't worry about that's because You're it's not factual. Here comes Ablett. Clinton, keep your head in the scrum head. One, move! Dominance. Muscular challenge, good Two. effort by Winter Steen in the tackle there. Winterstein's there Sorry. again doing his work, making Move. sure there's no progress oh, from those Leeds oh. players. The sun's coming out again. It's going to be one of those days, isn't it? Raining, sunny. Four. Well, they're, they're really making Sam at work oh. as well, though. He's defending oh. the middle channel as a hooker, and they're really working him over the rhino. Oh, Rob Burrows kicks charge down. It's taken well by Sinfield. It'll be another six here because it was One. played at by the Crusaders player. Move. I like, I like uh, Kevin Sinfield's transition there, Dave. He's transitioned to thought. It's a half opportunity, he got the ball, Two. and consequently it's given Three. Leeds another good attacking position. Badiris. Third! Move! Paul Jarrett. Tackles Four. in the back. Distance made. Here they find themselves. A position to strike, but the ball didn't quite go to hand for Lee Smith. He's, getting a, a, he's kicked that away, or a little bit petulantly, yeah. and the referee has given the penalty Bring against him. Bring the captain. He's going to put this on report, I think. Nice. This, is, gonna... this is going to be a very interesting little chat here with Steve Ganson. Bring your captain with you, he said. It's like, if you don't know, you've got the problem. It's like the head teacher hey. bringing the naughty boy to his uh, study. Hey, hey. Come on, still gone. The touch still gone. Guys, time off. Stand up. I've got two acts here. I've got him holding on, players, disagreeing with that. Yeah. Then he boots the ball away after the ball's passed forward. That's apparently my fault. Come back here and speak in. If it happens again, I'll take action against him. Last time. It's great, isn't it? Take that, Lee Smith. The, the little fella in the green shirt has them eating out of his hands, and long may it be that way in rugby league. And rightly so as well. We don't like petulant acts like that, and uh, well dealt with oh. by the man in green. Summit with a tap. Witt helps it on again. Winterstein. But Cahill rather driving it in. Five tackles from here, but we're not going to have time for those because um, just a matter of seconds. So Hanbury with a kick. Well. Senior's taken it well enough. Whoa. And the tackle will cue the half time hooter. What a half it's been. Crusaders up. Leeds responding despite all the problems they've had. And at half time, Leeds are leading this by 18 points to 10. And there is no doubt that Leeds will be mighty relieved to be leading this. It started very badly for them. Brent Webb limping off there and Crusaders were first on the scoreboard. Het Cahill went over and they scored again pretty quickly. Reese Hanbury took them 10-0 in front, but Leeds decided to hit back and they did so with two tries in two minutes. Two 21-year-olds scoring there. It's been a hell of a fight back and Robbie Paul was the man who pressed the accelerator, went zoom and took them into an 18-10 lead. The home side are leading here after a first side which has been end-to-end -end stuff. We could yet have an upset on our hands. Whatever happens, Crusaders have shaken them up big time. Leeds Rhinos though leading at half time. 18 points to nil, 100% kicking from Kevin Sinfield. Let's get a reaction from Robbie Hunter-Paul, he's with Tanya now.